welcome congratulations and thank you these are my first three words as we begin our concert online with the theme the love of christ impels us the concert was conceptualized to create space and opportunity for the dwcu learners to express and develop their talents in the field of music and dances likewise the concert has the aim to raise funds to improve the musical instruments in dwcu to express gratitude for the 53rd founding anniversary of the Divine Word College of Urdaneta and to evangelize and to show love and concern to the needy through songs and dances. Three sets of schedules were planned to implement the noble causes of the concert from the months of February and March. But because of this pandemic, the concert did not materialize for big social gatherings are not allowed during these trying times. Today, through this online concert, we believe that you deserve to see and listen to the talents of the DWCU learners. Today, we believe the learners deserve a space to manifest and show their God-given gifts to all of us as an expression of gratitude and an unselfish love, respect, and love. Today, it is so timely for the DWCU community to do this online concert to display, to exemplify our solidarity to the frontliners and to the people and families affected by the COVID-19. Through songs and dances, the DWCU community is one with you. And indeed, we sing as one, we educate as one, and we heal as one. Congratulations, learners, parents, educators, for giving your time and talents to prepare this online concert to show our solidarity to the DWCU and to the people affected by the COVID-19. Thank you, educators, learners, parents, benefactors, and friends, for all the support you extended to make this online concert possible. Thank you for the trust and confidence you have given us to make it a reality and to attain the objectives of the concert. The love of Christ impels us. It impels us to care. It impels us to forgive. And it impels us to give without expecting anything in return. God bless. Thank you. Congratulations and welcome. See? 
term eros is used to refer to the part of love constituting a passionate, intense desire for something. It is often referred to as the desires and feelings that are shared between people who are physically attracted to one another. Plato, on the other hand, looked at Eros more abstractly, believing to be our natural desire to seek true beauty. He wrote that he who loves the beautiful is called the lover because he partakes of it. In the Old Testament, Eros is used to express the physical and sensual intimacy between a husband and a wife, but in modern times, the word is now viewed in a positive light and is confused with a vulgar definition. This makes reclaiming the true holiness of the word a challenge.
Or feel you love is brotherly or sisterly love. Let me share you the viewpoints of Ken Boa 
on filial love. According to him, filial love is concerned with the love of friendship and companionship. This love is a product of mutuality of interest, time, insights, vision, and experience. Filia is a spark when we find common ground with another person. We are fixed on the same things rather than on each other as with eros. Filia is the love we choose. These friendships are found most profound when they center on the mutual pursuit of the highest goods. Truth, goodness, beauty, and the source of all these goods who is God. The things of the inner life become richer when they are held in common with treasured friends. This epitomizes how God uses philia to enhance our lives. According to Compelling Truth newsletter, filial love is often shown within close friendships. This is a generous and affectionate love that seeks to make the other person happy with no expectation for the acts of kindness to be returned. David and Jonathan are one of the Bible's best examples of filial love within friendship. In the first book of the prophet Samuel, their friendship is described and said in part that the soul of Jonathan was knit to the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. Then Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as his own soul. Filial love is shown toward people we feel warm and affectionate to. This means that we do not show our enemies filial love because we do not feel warm and affectionate toward them. However, God does call us to show love toward those individuals we dislike and clash with. And this love is higher than filial love. It is agape love. And as we grow closer to God and experience more of His compassion, we may even experience filial love toward people we are beginning to understand better. There are three things I do when my life falls apart. Number one, I cry my eyes out. Dry up my heart. Not until I do this will my new life start. So that's the first thing that I do when my life falls apart.
rin I deserve my future bright Not by where my life has been And I try, 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 try again Yes, I try, 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 try
agape is Greco-Christian term referring to love, the highest form of love, charity, and the love of God for man and of man for God. Within Christianity, agape is considered to be the love originating from God of Christian for humankind. In the New Testament, it refers to the covenant of love for God for humans, as well as the human reciprocal love for God. The term necessarily extend to the love of one's fellow man. God is the source of this kind of agape love. As Saint John said, we love because He first loved us. We read it in the First John chapter four, verses nineteen. This love is characterized by unselfishness and giving, even to the point of sacrifice. It is unconditional love that does not just based on performance. This type of love is tremendous gift and blessing, but sadly, many don't grow up receiving it. Agape transforms relationships because even if it's not reciprocated, it does not destroy us. We can still love even when we are hurt or wronged. It is a love that is not merely theoretical, but it is expressed in action. Just think, God did not stay in heaven. His love caused him to give his one and only son. We need something more. Only divine love provides the proper foundation for successful marriage or friendship or another relationship. Cause everything we've cherished is gone And in the end Can you tell me if It was worth the try So I can decide Leaves will soon grow from the bareness of trees And though we'll be alright inside from waves overgrown come the calmest of seas And though we'll be all right in time Oh, you never really love someone until you learn to forgive It haunts me and it makes me feel blue But how can I try to hide When every breath in every eye I still end up thinking of you And in the end Everything we have Makes it worth the fight So I will
But in the end, what makes it worth the fight? That no matter what happens, we try to make it right. Leaves will soon grow from the barrenness of trees, and the
At this point in time, we remember how DWC started. Its previous administrators, members of the faculty, and its staff. Who, in one way or another, had helped us to be the person we are today. We also remember in some way, in our present situation, the victims of this pandemic, that they may be restored to health the soonest. Our front lines and to all the people who struggle to fight this virus. Bye. 